It's back! The long-awaited, highly anticipated conversion from Farming Simulator 19 is here. The fine people at Creative Mesh bring you Straw Harvest for Farming Simulator 22. Hello, everybody. Today, we get to take a look at the soon-to-be-released Straw Harvest add-on for FS22. A lot of you may remember this add-on from FS19. Now Creative Mesh brought it to 22. And now included with Straw Harvest, we've got, of course, the Pelletizer. Two balers, square and round. We've got a bale collect, the bale shredder, three different types of bale grabs, four new buildings, one cell point, three pallets of materials, including molasses, netting, and twine. All right, let's take a look at what equipment is in the Straw Harvest pack. As mentioned, we got three bale grabs, Three different sizes, a couple different varieties. The V-Grab for 4,500 bucks. Front loader, telehandler, and wheel loader. Plenty of color options if you want to make it fun. The second one, a little different style. Front loader, telehandler, and wheel loader. Again, all the colors you need. And then the last, the big boy, is a wheel loader only. Still got the color options, though. So let's go look, see how many bales we can pick up with each bale grab. Now these are all really good bale grabs. This first one, we got three on there. May have been able to get four, who knows. This one, again, the different style, four on that one. Probably made for three, but you know, we pushed it a little bit. And then the big boy on the wheel loader, six. Count them six, big square bales. So three awesome bale grabs for you to use. You're gonna be making a lot of bales with straw harvest pack, so. These are definitely good additions. All right, let's get back to the equipment we get. We've got the Comproma V180XE, a round baler. Only 80 horsepower required, 125 to 180 centimeter round bales. We've got a couple of tire options. Not very different, but a couple of options. And then your refill supplies are manually and automatic. You wanna do it yourself? Put it on manually. You wanna be lazy like me? Put it on automatic. Next, we got the big pack, the 1290. 180 to 240 centimeter square bales requires 258 horsepower. Of course, we've got the bale chute. We've also got the bale collect 1230, which is included in the straw harvest. Again, manually or automatically refills the supplies. It is $10,000 for the automatic, worth the price if you ask me. For a total of 329 grand, we've got the bale collect patcher on there. Of course, the bale collect 2958. Not any options on this. It stacks three bales. This unfolds, puts them side by side, makes it easier to pick up with your fancy new bale grabs. And here we have the big pack. We have a pallet of twine. And you will see, you are going to need to unfold this, lower the twine boxes, it says. These sides will pop down. You can start refilling your baler. Animation is really cool. You can see the twine filling up in the spaces. Both sides. And once you're full, you are ready to go bailing. Of course, we've got the collect on here. It's gonna stack your three bales in a row so it's easier to pick up. And now we get to the star of the show, the Primos 5000 Pelletizer. You can see the bale shredder is next to it. $320,000 base price for the Primos, 9,000 liters. Six miles an hour, straw and hay. Only one option on this manual and automatic refill of supplies. 10 grand, same price, $330,000. Of course, you're gonna want the bale shredder with it. 31,900, no options on this. It just attaches conveyor. Puts the bales into the shredder. And lastly, we have our bale twine pallet, our bale net pallet, and our molasses pallet. Reasonably priced. All these things are necessary to go with this pack. We will show those off. Use them, but they are available here to purchase. As with this, you can change the capacity, 480 liters, 400 down to a mere 80 liters. If you only need a little bit. Again, variable capacities on these pallets. Depending on what you need, 
48 pieces, 44 pieces, buy a little, buy a lot, but you're going to need them. And our last piece of equipment we're going to show off is the pelletizer. Got it hooked up to our Black Beauty here. Thing we have on manual fill. It does need water and molasses. And fun fact, you can actually fill this up with water from the pond. There's a little pond on the other side of that building. And we uh, drove over there and filled it up with water. Of course, you can use a tanker, however you want to do it. We drive up to our pallet of molasses here. Either side works. We hit our button and we fill up with molasses. No molasses, water, you're ready to start making pallets. Now, this works just like normal. You can drive this in the field, which we'll show, but you can also hook up the bale shredder to it, whether it be in the buildings that we're gonna show or next to your shop somewhere. How this hooks up, you wanna be on the right side of the pelletizer. You want that yellow bar on the bale shredder to be facing you. We drive up close. Not that close. We hit it. And as you can see, it folds up into there. Now you can drive this around. Bring it to your building. It will unfold here. Again, if you want to use this in the field, we hit our unfold bale shredder. Look at that animation. That is awesome. The conveyor comes out. The feet go down. Everything snaps into place. Now you can move this up and down. Don't get crazy with it. You want to tip over, but those wheels will go up and down. You can kind of drive this around, which you're going to need for the buildings. You know, you put those wheels down. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. It's going to mess you up a little bit. So keep those wheels up. But there is the bale shredder. Now, if we fold this back up, they were done with it for today. It will fold back up. We can detach it and... Uh, Maybe take the pelletizer out into the field. Every animation on this is fantastic. Creative Mesh did a wonderful job. We will detach it. It sets it down there nice and gently, and you are ready to go off. So let's see how these things work in the field. Do a little demo. Now we've got some straw laid out here. Kind of harvested a little bit of this field. We're just showing the pelletizer. We've got the molasses, the water in there, and you can see the pellets are dropping in. We are going six miles an hour. That is the standard speed. Get a little bit better on our line there. The pellets will drop in. We've made 1,500. I mean, we haven't gone very far and we've made 1,500. Made a lot of pellets. But again, every animation on this is amazing. This works simply. Again, you're just driving over your swath and you're making pellets. As long as you have the molasses and the water in there, you're good to go. Now, one thing I do want to mention, in 19 Straw Harvest, when you pulled this Primos over a very large swath of hay or straw, it had a tendency to kind of shut off, kind of be too much. I've driven this over some very large swaths, and it has not shut off whatsoever. So another additional bonus to the 22 version of Straw Harvest. Now we've got the hay one going here now. Headed a little grass, wind rode it up. You can see straw and hay. This one, this pelletizer is the automatic, so you don't see the fill types for the molasses and the water. This one makes it simple, automatically filled. And again, bunch of cute little pellets, money makers right there, that's cash. Falling into our hopper. Easy enough. Get this done. Put the pickup. We bring our pipe out. We can bring our trailer under. Drop it down. Unload our pellets. And take them off the sale. Where are we going to sell them? Well, that comes in buildings, which we're going to look at right now. Okay, so what kind of buildings do we get with this? There's a bunch. If we start off in buildings, under sheds, at the end, we have two. We have the pellet hall. $175,000. They have a pellet haul with crane. Also $175,000. And we're going to put these all down, show you the differences. But obviously, the difference between these two is with or without crane. Under productions, we have two again. We have the pellet haul palletizer. Now, this is your 
factory production of the pallets of pellets. That's hard to say. Pallets of pellets. Also included in this is a pellet heat plant. You put in your wood chips or your straw pellets and you get electricity made. And then lastly, we have a selling point. Now this did come with 19 as well. You can sell your hay, your straw pellets here. We're gonna put all these down. If you look at all of them, see if it's worth selling to here or maybe to one of the other sell points on the map. So let's place them down, get a little tour and start making some pellets, I think. And now the building's in place. As you can see, three different ones. They all look the same. The door here, it opens. It sounds amazing, very realistic. All the doors open, little door opens. We come in here, we have lights on and off. And this one, obviously, just has the bunks. You can put whatever you want in here, vehicles, uh, store things in here. This is just a blank hall. Do with it what you want. The second one, obviously, with the crane, the same thing, just with the crane. You'll see this icon here. Enter into the crane, you'll see we're up here. The first thing you want to notice is we have toggle crane tool. We have that, those forks. We also have a box for the pellets. And if we do this, that does adjust in size to grab on. And then we have a shovel. Now the crane options, fairly simple. That is in and out. This moves the crane back and forth. We've got a rotating shovel. We've got the shovel up and down. Fairly simple. And then grab onto it. So we scoop it up. We move it over, lift it up. Unload it. We're good to go. Pretty simple crane operation. Very smooth. Even with my old controller. Really well done. So this is the haul with crane. And then lastly, this one I think will be the one everyone is using most of the time. You have the hall, you have the crane, but you also have the pellet maker. A pallet, pellet maker, pellet, pallet make, however that is said. This is going to make your, your pallets of pellets. There is your hopper. We're going to show you how to set up the pelletizer in here to make this work, but you could bring a telehandler and dump your pellets straight into here. Either way works. Depends on what you like. Your pallets will come off here. We'll show that process. These are your three buildings. Now we got the heat plant and the cell point to show you. Now, one thing before we get to the heat plant and the cell point, I do want to mention, because this is important, these pellet halls, all three varieties are color changeable. So you can cycle through some colors there. No trim or roof options, but you do have building color options so it can match your farm. It's very important to keep everything coordinated. So pick your color, put your pellet hall down. Let us get to the heat plant. Got a very big building, which I like. There's your hopper. And if we jump into our exclamation point there, you can see this is a production chain. Draw pellets, 1,000 become 130 electricity. Just going to get sold 60 bucks a month, 24 cycles. So not super fast. Wood chips, 750, become 130. So a little bit of extra money, something to do with your straw pellets, to make electricity. Now, the other thing to realize here, as you can see, we have the pelletizer hall in our production chains. That does not count as this. It is not technically a production chain. We're gonna be making pallets of pellets. I'm gonna screw that up a lot today. Pallets of pellets, but it is not a production chain. It is, just gonna spit them out and you take them where? There's no spawning or distributing those pallets of pellets anywhere. So this is the only production chain. So our cell point, again, very small, be able to put this anywhere. This is very similar to the one in 19, if not exact. There's your prices for 20 kilos. I don't know if that's accurate. I haven't done the math, but if we look on our cell, and we get down to our pellets. A pellets at the pallet sell point, which is what we just placed down, is 1,200. Our high price here is 700. So 
or almost double 40%, something like that. I'm not going to do the math in my head. And straw pellets, 855 as opposed to 515 as a high price at the heat plant. So you are going to make more with that sell point. You can sell them at, say, South Valley Biomass. It does work. I have tested it. But of course, you're going to make more money, a lot more money in this case with the pallet sell point. So my advice is to put the sell point down, bring your pallets of pellets. So oh, hard to say. Your pallets of pellets, sell them here, make the extra money, get rich. So here we are at the pellet hall production, we'll call it. I saved you the time and the pain of watching me back this up. We unfolded our pipe, we unfolded our bale shredder. We did unload some that we had collected in the field. So you can see we got a, a pallet started there. This is stopped because we are empty. But the interesting thing about this is you see now you have information. We've output until now is 35 bags, zero pallets. We haven't made a full one. Our supply lasts for zero minutes, zero seconds because we're empty. Our fill level goes as well as empty. Now we have loaded one up here. You do need to leave the tractor on. It does need power. If we turn this on, you will see our bale kind of work its way in there. You do got to have it kind of in the right spot. It will work its way sometimes to even out. I will say it is it is not the fastest process that we have. But it will work. You just got to give it a little bit of time. It works its way down into those finny blades of shredding. So if you get it offline, it does take a minute to get Sort of righted, but you can see we're fitting pellets out there. They will come into our hopper, up our conveyor, and go inside there. Now, that is working its way down there. If we can see this, just one bale. It does work its way in there, much like 19. The bags start coming out and getting filled up in the plastic wrap they do come out drop down into here now after all that we've finally made a pallet it does get wrapped 2,000 liters of hay pellets which we can super strength of course our way over there but this will start a new one as you can see it's loading the bags on there it will just keep stacking putting new ones in as long as we keep feeding it and we're making hay pellets we're making pallets of pellets and as you can see here, our information's changed. We made 52 bags, one pallet. We have enough supply for another minute and a half. And uh, we have 1,030 liters in there, 20%. So 5,000 liters approximately capacity as it goes down. So a lot of good information there. A lot of uh, ways that you can streamline your operation. If you know what you're doing, you can say, oh, I got eight minutes left. All right, I can go do something for eight minutes good to know now so load it with the crane load it with a wheel loader telehandler or set up your production however you choose to do it you're now making pallets of pellets so there you have it for our first look at soon to be released straw harvest add-on for fs22 big thanks to creative mesh for allowing us to do this go check out their website with the link in the description and as always if you like these videos hit that like and subscribe and until next time, thank you for watching.